Hello, welcome to episode four zero. Forty. We made Can you it. believe it? We made it to forty. <laughs> For the um, listeners, maybe you don't know, but we did make it a point to have a round number. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, we had to. It's like, you can't be like, oh, 39 episodes. Like, nah, it's like 40. It's nice and clean and organized and like 40 feels uh, Sounds good. <laughs> legit. Yeah, feels good. Um, but it's also been over a year of publishing episodes as well, which is pretty great. Um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, so That's yeah, so theme. today... Yeah, today we're going to chat and do a recap of, uh, yeah, 1 through 40, basically, or I guess technically 1 through 39, right? Um, So our journey Mm -hmm. to this point, just talk a little bit about, yeah, what we've learned, what the experience has been, um, and then what's happening next. So... (laughs) So I, I know episode 39 was a freestyle. I feel uh, freestyling. <laughs> Maybe this yeah. is a little bit similar, but we do have a structure compared to the other one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So first of all, let me start by saying thank you for uh, joining mm-hmm. me in this crazy adventure that started mm-hmm. with the coffee at Coffee and Coconut. By the way, Coffee and Coconut, you should actually uh, right. sponsor us because yeah. we keep <laughs> yes. All the time. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yes. So, um, wow, it was a journey, wasn't it? We learned a mm. lot. I have mm-hmm. to say, this is, um, I was invited and I joined a lot of podcasts, but it's such a big difference between just showing up and answering questions. Mm-hmm. Whereas you are on the other side and you need to, like, I do remember. All the things. It's about, yeah. do we have mm-hmm. a logo? Do we have a title? How do we structure? How mm-hmm. long? With whom? Mm-hmm. Do we have guests? We don't. Uh, da, da, da. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do we do afterwards? Who's doing what? And um, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. That. So going back to coffee and coconuts for a second, it just occurred to me, um, there's one thing that I never asked you. And it feels like, yeah, to say this is a little bit of a delayed reaction is like an understatement. But mm-hmm. in any case, what better time to ask the most uh a simple question that I probably should have asked like straight away but I never did until now um so I'm I'm curious why like what your thought was originally when you asked me to do this like what um yeah why what was your thinking like yeah we met one time and you're like let's do a podcast and so it's like oh I'm curious uh what you well, I'm about. trying to, to think what was in my head, but I yeah. tend to be, we were discussing, I think last episode uh, about uh, different cultures. Mm. So I'm, a, I, I tend to be spontaneous as, and uh, if I have an idea to just run it and that's not necessarily the best thing in this case was a good thing, but I do think tend to have an idea and just run it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually what I did with the online networking with the spin and different other things not all of them of course turned out to be successful yeah (laughs) of course um but it's it's a little bit part of my personality Mm. uh and uh, i do need to have a good connection with the person so and by that uh like yes we can talk we share values we have so many things in common so how about we do this yeah yeah Uh, yeah and i do remember that conversation it was like wow we just like aligned on so many things it was yeah. like oh really interesting and we just we like went from like the surface level hi how are you to like boom, right away and talk <laughs> to like real business what's going on what are the challenges what are the opportunities so i yeah. agree i think there was i i also had that experience of it and that doesn't happen in a lot of people and actually i do tend to come up with ideas and present them but that doesn't mean everyone is jumping or they are uh, we talked about mm-hmm. strategic partnerships and how to collaborate so yeah a lot of discussions like that but if maybe this is maybe i just do it without re- not realizing and now i have my aha moments because of yeah. your question you know but you you do go you do meet someone and you have um um let's work let's use a fancy word synergies let's say we do mm-hmm. so many things and you come let's let's do something together let's start with a small idea and you put it out there and you maybe do some or you just launch it but what is important for me is to see how the other person is reacting as well because if mm-hmm. i see effort Mm-hmm. Uh, an interest from the other person that shows me yes there's something there let's let's explore and see how we can collaborate but if they say yes let's do that but then is cricket 
then okay, maybe mm. it's not meant to be. So yeah. in one way, I think it's a very unofficial way of qualifying mm -hmm. connection as well. Is that a good partner? Is that a good connection? Can we actually do something? And then amazing things can push. Right. can be created like our podcast or yeah I do know that person and it's a fantastic person but it's not great for me doing business with that person but that doesn't mm -hmm. want to introduce mm -hmm. yeah as a connection forward yeah how about you yeah I think I mean for me initially uh it was great that you asked because of course um so it had been on my mind for many years as I told you I did have a podcast like almost 100 years ago um, but then I, I, you know, it's not, uh, I mean, you can find it if you scour, but it's just like <laughs> there. Um, but I, so I have known that I wanted to, you know, start a podcast and then it was also just excellent timing because I was just at the very beginning of starting to venture out of the like post COVID cave. Right. So, cause we met, it was like October, 2022, I think it was. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And so I had, yeah, it was like the, you were, I think actually the first person I met first or second person that I met here to have any type of business conversation or anything. Uh, oh, so it was, thank a, you. I feel yeah, it was like very, I was just beginning to kind of venture out. Cause the first part was like, we we're still in COVID. I had a baby and like figure out where to live and how to live here. And so that was like very kind of dominated everything. And I still had my my business from the US. So there are a lot of different things that were going on. So just as I started to step out and explore, you know, my new home country and whatnot, that's when we connected and had coffee. So for me, the goal was like, oh, this is great. It'll allow me to build a relationship, learn business here, also the the multicultural piece. Um yeah, and to get me engaged in doing things here in, you know, present day life um, and starting to create again. And also, um, I think it's no surprise and it's been very clear, I'm like super direct and open about it. This has been a giant transition period for me in my life as well. Um, you know, the obvious things that now I'm a mom, you know, now I live in a new country and but also business wise and how I view my career and what my aspirations are and what my uh, priorities are and my values and so many things have changed. So um, being able to continue to show up uh, and have this as a steady thing that we have done mm -hmm. has helped to keep me grounded, um, but also been a phenomenal opportunity for me to talk through these things as we have gone to really try to figure out what is this evolution looking like. So it's been uh, a great experience for me in that regard. We did we did talk about business, but also we did use this podcast for us to mm -hmm. revamp or to to actually analyze. I think that will be the the best one to to mm. what do we want to do? How do we want to structure? So we did use our each other as as a something board quite a lot <laughs> in yeah. the podcast. So right, right, yeah, just that, talking about experiences. Fun. What was which is what our, our original idea was like? Just yeah. continue to to share ideas to learn from each other to ask questions to compare notes and the um, funny thing we were like no one we're gonna listen yeah maybe yeah but even but now it's like, like now actually I'm, I'm scared when i look at the numbers i'm very happy and on the i know end, like oh did we actually share all of that <laughs> i know i know yeah that definitely happens it kind of oscillates or sometimes you think oh nobody's gonna listen it's just us and there are other times when you're like, are people listening to this? Yeah, what did I say? Yeah. But really, it's like, it, it, I try to always bring it back to this is just a conversation for us. Um, yeah. And so I try to utilize it in that way. So it's like truly is continuing to get to know you and to compare notes and all of those things, while also uh, really trying to not trying to be authentic. I, I don't think we sh should just be authentic and just which is be ourselves. Um, just be yeah and just be very upfront and transparent about where I'm at and what I think and, and whatnot and so I think it's it was a really yeah just a great experience I don't need to be to steal your thunder and then be redundant it's like yeah that makes sense mm. yeah so um what do we want to tell our listeners so actually episode 40 we do need a small break <laughs> yeah <laughs> to recharge yeah. yep yeah, so we're going to be putting a pause on this. Um, and so uh, TBD, so we may revisit recording at some point in the future. 
um, or maybe not. Maybe it'll be a little bit different. It's uh, it's another mystery of life. Uh, but we're going to press the pause button to get uh, for a bit and kind of regroup and reevaluate, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm pretty and... sure we'll at least, um, I know you're launching, uh, maybe there are different things here we want to share with our listeners. So um, maybe we should start like, what are we preparing? And then to share how mm -hmm. we're gonna, what will happen with the podcast? Uh, because we're not going to disappear, but we do need a break. So mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. what you can expect is for us to take a break now. And, um, uh, but what happens while we are taking a break? Do you want to yeah. share? I Sure. I mean, for me, what's next, um, is pretty significant. Actually, it's been a, a long time coming. And I think that in many ways, this podcast also contributed to, um, yeah, me arriving at this moment where it's actually time, uh, time to take a step forward. So I am, so by the time this podcast comes out, it will already be launched. Um, so right now I'm still working on it, but I am launching um, a, a membership network uh, with a podcast attached to it. Um, and it's called One Handshake. And the general right. premise is what something that I truly believe. And I've been saying for, yeah, probably 25 years or more, because I've experienced it several times over. And that is one handshake can change a life or a business. We just don't know which handshake it's going to be. And so this is why it's called the One Handshake uh, Community, you know, membership network kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so this is what I'm working on. And it's it's ultimately a, a platform to be able to lift up and contribute to more people in a more strategic and scalable way. Um, it's something that I've been doing separately in different pockets, kind of decentralized for 20 years. Um, but now it's time to take a step forward and bring it actually together. So that's the the quick gist about what it is. Um, Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to the listeners is the first time I'm hearing about it because everything yes. kept secret. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I must say, I'm not surprised. I, I, I believe this fits you perfectly. Like we, we kept mm. on discussing and I do remember when you came over one time for dinner mm -hmm. and discussing about different things. Mm -hmm. I'm really not surprised and I, 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 I think you're perfect for something like that. It makes perfect sense. Uh, and I'm so happy you found the format that fits yeah. you. And and like I, yeah. if you're just listening and don't see her, she has a smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> it shows me yeah. the good thing. Yeah. So I'm so I'm so looking forward to to see really the community. It. I really really appreciate it. It's um. Yeah, so I've had some conversations with folks and the general consensus is no kidding. Like, yeah, it's like everybody's been like no waiting for me. To yeah. Just, yeah, and so for me, I'm like, listen, you know, I just took the scenic route here, but I really appreciate that. And for me, it's it's definitely scary and there's, you know, lots of fear that I could easily hide in. But the other side of that coin is it feels very like like an exhale and like mm. um expansive at the same time yeah. because it now has just by structuring it this way it now allows me to do what i already do but in a much larger way and so rather yeah, more than structured. yeah structured. more structured way and and uh, and really be able to compound the impact that's created uh, so rather than pick and choose is like is this is this my market or is that my market or am I doing this or am I doing that? It's like, yes. And, and so now I'm bringing these pieces together. Um, and all along, I have always felt that in, you know, building my networking, building my network and building relationships and uh, you know, creating opportunities, identifying opportunities and all of these things. It's always that it's, it's not about me. It's about other people. And so that's been part of my resistance all of these years is feeling like I don't want the perception to be that it's about me because it's actually not. Um, it's just I'm the conduit, and I I yeah. love more. You're the connector. Like my, 
yeah, my most natural position, it's like, it's like people always say, you know, oh, what would you do for free or whatever? It's like, uh, I know this at, at heartbeat. It's like, I was born this way. My <laughs> most favorite thing to do anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Just spontaneously is finding out what's, you know, who somebody is, what is it that they need and how can I contribute to that either through connections or resources um, like ideas, but then sometimes it's also allowing people to be seen or helping people to reignite their energy in these pieces here. And generally in business, there's this, this kind of spoken or unspoken role where it's like either you're like business or you're personal. Are you like an executive coach or are you like a life coach or doing this? And like, it's so many things are fragmented. And so for me, I feel like my network is is both in the the relationships I have with people, including many executives and business owners and whatnot that I have worked with for many years. And yeah, and people like from private equity to entertainment to politicians to all it's all the same thing. These are these are actual like human beings that yes, they have a career, they have aspirations, but they also have personal stuff. And so always trying a, trying to find a way to align those pieces. Um, and so that's what the the nature of this this network will be. Um, and there'll be a, a, you know, a series of offerings tied to membership as well um, to really accelerate the rate at which I can provide value through, you know, directly or indirectly through other resources. So, and, uh, and uh, you. as you said, though, by the time this episode will be out, you'll be everybody. able to check it out. Yes. Exactly. We're going to place the link it. and people can actually join. Yes. Yeah, Very yeah. exciting. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. And it's funny, you know, uh, I was just in Paris for a, a short business trip and um, I yeah, I was in a situation. I had no internet for a while. Imagine that. So I just <laughs> had my, my handy dandy notes app. And so I thought for the new podcast that will be attached to it, I thought, you know, it's just like kind of free association. Who is it that I would like to have on my podcast? And so I quickly came up with 60 names, just just people. So I'm like, wow, it's just like flowing. It was not hard for a Isn't second. It's yeah. like right through the list. And you so know, I'm, the moment yeah. when you have that for me, that's a clear indication that's the right yeah, path. Yeah, yeah. It's and really, yeah, yeah. So the right path, hopefully. And it's, you know, still, it's like, uh, the B Corp situation, I still love that. I still am a huge proponent of that, but my relationship to it will evolve. Um, there's still a B Corp podcast that's in the mix and that will probably jump a, a little bit further down the road um, so that this has a chance to to be, to be born first. <laughs> um, but yeah, so all of those things, like the sustainability part is still, it's still critical. So I have a sustainable growth program. It's it's incorporated into who I am and to what I do and what I believe. So that'll influence the, the the network and how it grows, who's attracted to it, as well as the resources and the people that are a part of. So uh, one doesn't exclude the other, of course. Yeah. 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 Exciting. But it's, uh, an evolution. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So I, I am excited and I very much appreciate your uh support and encouragement around that. And it's um yeah. You never know how things evolve, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, and that's the whole idea. Just don't uh, be curious, show up, and uh, you never know what is happening. That's yeah. the beauty of life, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is what it is. So, um, yeah. So, I don't know what else to say about it. So, check the link if you're interested. You kind of get sure. the more details about the One Handshake Network and podcast. Um, yeah. And there's more. Yeah, lots more to come. It's just the beginning. I still have, um, yeah, I have some other company situations and, you know, working in a B2B capacity still and helping to grow companies, et cetera. So that part is always also part of who I am. But um, yeah, but that's ongoing. And now the, it's the new thing is, priority. yeah, yes. Yeah, this, this is the new part. So um, yeah. And then how about for you? So that's and, how I'll be spending the the break, right? <laughs> As I'm going like full throttle into building and launching something new in about 30 days, actually. 
uh so how about for you well your, uh, your we just steps? launched the marketing accelerator so that mm -hmm. is taking a lot of my time and energy yeah uh but we have the first cohort starting now very exciting Hmm. and uh, we are busy start preparing the base conference that will take place in october oh wow so exciting and a lot of work and i'm oh. thinking i need a holiday as well in between yeah not sure when, <laughs> when that will happen so uh for us as as uh, you know we do have the do it for you that's basically mm -hmm. the market do it for you that will be the the marketing services where we take over mm -hmm. and we help you with the strategy implementation and uh, then we have the uh, do it with you. That's the marketing accelerator that we just launched in July. And um, I'm very excited about that because it's like you said, you know, like working on it, we have an episode about this and how can I make it happen? And it's something I believe in. And it's, I believe in actually having, providing access to all the small businesses to the same chances. And that means they do need to have access to expertise, but also to materials. Mm -hmm, and this mm -hmm. is what the program is all about. So very in line with what you're doing, but from a different angle, <laughs> mm -hmm, because we, mm -hmm. we are different, yeah. of course. Yeah, sure. So this is, uh, this is what we, we worked uh, and I worked and uh, now it's happening and I'm very happy. And base conference after so many years online, it's offline again. So I must admit, I'm a little bit scared, but excited. Wow. <laughs> so in October, it'll be in person somewhere? Yes. Yes. Do you know, do you know what city? Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Oh, yay. So that's very exciting. And uh, August will be all about that, actually. Mm. Start working on it. So I'm. I'm excited and I'm going mm. to be scared as well because mm -hmm. um, organizing events online became so natural to me. I don't right. need to think twice about it. However, organizing big events like 150 people events face to face. Yeah, that's a I lot. can still do it and excites me, but I do have to say I have like, okay, Ooh, I can do yeah. this. <laughs> Amazing. I can to breathe uh, through it and, and it will be fun. So wow. these are the, the main plans and uh, we'll see. We are considering launching a spin podcast as well around mm -hmm. the community. Uh, but I'm realizing there are too many things I want to do in the same time. So I need to put yeah. that a little bit on hold, exactly like you said with the, yeah. the corp. Uh, yes. Past and just leave it. Uh, may maybe we're going to launch it towards base and that will be in collaboration with the uh, base. Mm -hmm. um, but at this point accelerator is and then the, the base conference are the main uh, the yeah. main objectives and the main is the main focus actually mm. so, so you can put that put the link for the base conference um so that's great because this episode will come out and there'll be plenty of time for people to be able to exactly. register exactly Great. so uh it seems both of us uh, whereas uh, we said we need a break let's have um, a break yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's have yeah. some time off recording um we are pretty good at filling that time with exciting things. Yes, yes. So yeah. now uh, to all our listeners, you, you do understand why we need to step aside from this. Um, but we had so much fun. and um, Yes, yes. I know we were discussing to share our favorite episodes. Right. But mostly I'm right. not. Do you have one? I'm yeah. not really sure I mean, which one. because Yeah, I was just looking. I mean, I really like when we the idea that we had to do like the live collaboration. So we had, oh, yes. I think episode 11 was you in the hot seat and oh, you yes. were talking. And then we had yeah. the, you in the yeah. hot seat. Yeah. So I did. That was, was a bit nerve wracking if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> but in episode 11, which was yours, you were talking about how you were kind of relaunching your and online, ONS. your ONS. Yeah. And talking through that process which was pretty cool. So I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that episode because it was me being able to do what I do, which is ask the questions and that kind of bit. Um, but I, yeah, then having the, you know, switching seats kind of thing in episode 13 and talking through the the evolution of my company. Um, yeah, it's it's not as fun to be in the hot seat as <laughs> to be the one asking the questions, you know. It's but, a different position, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it was a little bit squeamish for me, but you know, it's like you gotta you gotta sometimes show up and do the scary things. Yeah. Um, but I like we talked about. I think interesting. We did one early on, episode eight on AI for the non-techie business owner, 
Yeah. And I think back even the, 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 how many things changed the ex- then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The acceleration of AI from just then till now is like, wow, unbelievable. So I feel like that episode is still really useful for people that are I'm also trying to, to about, catch up. Yeah. Thinking about that episode and now that I, uh, I joined the AI meetup and we helped them mm. organize events here and the conversations th- that take place there and how much I'm learning from there. I'm thinking I, I should delete that episode. <laughs> like my knowledge then compared to now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's good. I mean, this is what it is. This is like the, the learning curve. Yeah, The learning curve and for everybody, I mean, this is happening, but also look at how much you have learned in just a short amount of time. So it's also relatable for people and it's approachable and it gives people that the feeling that, oh, I can also learn this stuff. Like it's not, um it's not rocket yeah. science it, it is but it's happening in real thing. time yeah. yeah just jumping in so I really like that episode for that reason um I of course we talked about our lessons learned our top three lessons learned that was fun uh yeah that was episode uh three um I must say I enjoyed the most the latest ones because at the beginning I remember we were quite stressed and I think the delivery and how not the entire episode because we do tend to forget we are recording and then we have our own conversation. Mm-hmm. But at the beginning, we're like, who's starting? What we do? And yeah. before we went yeah. through it, it became natural kind of like, oh, mm-hmm. we are just... Here we are again. Pressing, yeah, I'm pressing record. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. But I, I must say, and probably this is my personality, what I enjoyed the most were the freestyle freestyling mm-hmm. episodes because mm-hmm. we had no idea what we we're going to talk about <laughs> mm-hmm. and from there we just ended up having amazing discussions and yeah uh, yeah I, it was actually, great you helped me a lot you also gave me like great suggestions on different tools and then also you've helped me uh give me suggestions about events remember we were comparing notes about events yes. which ones to go to etc so there have been so many uh tangible and intangible things that I have uh yeah received from this experience and I'm remain hopeful that uh you know people uh, listeners and folks have also you know learned something or also learned about a new tool or just got a different way to think about things or maybe feel validated or feel like they're not alone because we also have no flipping clue what we're doing and you know (laughs) but uh yeah yeah. Right. So um, what I took the most is uh, I admire you for your structure and I learned, I also learned a lot and um, your, you structuring everything actually helped me as well, because mm. we do have a lot of things and you kind of created order <laughs> yeah. where, where was, uh, yeah, for me, it was an idea set and then mm. you you provided the structure it was needed so thank you mm. of course yeah this is how it works right it's yeah uh it's it's a blend of of two ideas and um approaches and all and the personality things. yes yeah exactly so i think that's been a really uh an experience uh and an experiment and yeah. really figuring out how how far to the right to turn or how far to the left and well, how to not meter? have either of us fall overboard you know <laughs> Uh, to keep steering forward um and I think I think also to not take ourselves too seriously yeah as well it's like to have fun at the end of the day it's like we're we're not you know we didn't set up to do this podcast to like hope we're going to get you know we're going to get clients in episode two it's like I don't think I honestly for me I never really went into this project with the idea of having clients Hmm. That wasn't the purpose. It was just an uh, experiment. Yeah. And also one thing, how um, how can you actually tell your clients to do a podcast if you never done it? Mm-hmm. And it's one thing to tell them, go and speak at the podcast because mm-hmm. you need to do that. But if you tell them, have a podcast, how can you do that? Yeah. So I do believe in playing with as many things as possible. Mm-hmm. So you know what is working, you have learnings out of that, mm-hmm. and you know how to implement that for your clients as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah. my, my approach is slightly different. And of course, you do have the marketing funnels for your company and things like that. Right, but right. I always have, um, I, I do love the fact that you said uh, 
let's have fun and not take ourselves too seriously. And I always, right. we always have something like that in spin mm. because, yeah, it's just, let's be honest, right. life is quite hard. So let's, let's yeah, life is heavy enough. Bit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, um, one other silly thing I just realized it's, yeah. If you go back and see the video from like the first or second episodes to now, you could look, my hair is growing out. <laughs> it's like, well, so I, I think, mine was you know? out <laughs> long, short, long again. Yeah, you've had lots of different changes, but mine is like, it looks like a chia pet. It's like my hair is like, woo, it's starting I'm so to grow. looking forward to see you with long hair. <laughs> I know. It's hair. like, oh man, are we getting there? Is it going to be like, I just need it like, oh, come on. So and anyway, I'm, but we are yeah. recording during a very rainy day so mine hair and I have my dog with me so that means walking in the rain <laughs> yeah 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 I understand so all right so this was uh yeah it's been really great Veronica thanks for uh yeah thanks for walking beside me during this uh 40 episodes um, it was an adventure thank you for having me and thank you for joining me in this adventure yeah, and best wishes with the the marketing accelerator. And I'm uh, as looking well as the base to the, yes, yes, and I'm looking forward to to seeing your community grow. Yeah, me too. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So to all our listeners, uh, we are not disappearing. We, as you see, we are quite busy. So keep on following us, and um, you never know what will happen in a couple of months. Maybe we're gonna do once a month or once every now and then an episode. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. don't unfollow us. Right. Um, yeah yeah uh, but because there's... we are not disappearing but we are taking a break yeah and if there's one... we have lots of things going on so people yeah. certainly have a nice buffet of things to choose from and uh, one thing that i want to leave you with is don't be afraid to play because you never know what will come out of it you know like right. a podcast you are learning new skills you are meeting new people you are just having fun and mm-hmm. uh just being inspired so thank you Jillian right. for inspiring me and thank having you. fun with me and thank you for me. collaborating right we had our conversations <laughs> we collaborated and I think we're we were creative so I, I think I did think so yeah mission accomplished <laughs> so all right until next time guys yeah. bye for now cheers